Tesla bankruptcy. Guess what, guys? It could happen. We're going to show you what we're talking about in this video. And also, we're going to link to a video. Matter of fact, this video right here that we filmed on October 3rd when Tesla was still around $240. Right now, it's at the current price. I believe it's at $240. We're going to get into the price prediction in the near term after they announce earnings and what we should be looking for in the rest of this year. And you're going to be surprised at our price target for Tesla. Matter of fact, before we get to that, Make sure you like and subscribe so you keep getting this information and a way to make money even when it's going down. So let's get straight into it. All right, here's an article right here and it goes through the um, debts that car manufacturers owe um, from gross margin. All right, you got Ford, GM, and you also got Tesla. It says Tesla has a low amount of debt right now compared to Ford and um, GM. But this is kind of misleading because the fact that those companies sell more cars than Tesla. You know, so they're saying that in this article that Tesla has a lot less, um, a lot less debt, and they also have higher price margin on their cars. So, but if you take into account that Tesla used to sell cars that were ninety thousand dollars, now they're selling cars that are thirty thousand. There's a big difference there. And also, what we got to say as far as Tesla sales, don't be surprised if you see a car that comes out from Tesla after this. Maybe they, they might even announce it before this earnings or during his earnings, that's gonna be base price 25,000. They have to get cheaper and cheaper to move more units, but it doesn't add up. Like I said, it does not add up. The largest car company that's the most sales in the world right now is Toyota. They sell 1.9 million cars a year or something like that. So I would say um, Tesla's in some real trouble in the coming future because we did our video matter of fact let's go to the charts and i'll show you that right now. this is tesla's chart right here this is the daily so we can go all the way back at least 10 years we can go further if we need to but right now we're going to be looking at mainly at uh the last five years right so what we did in our video back in october 3rd you can take a look at that i'm, I'm going to make this real short what we did is we went back and showed people prior to 2020 and all the stimulus coming in that tesla was facing bankruptcy I mean, at that time, I do have to say, the uh, Model 3 and the Model um, Y were not out yet. But I say that the idea for those cars coming out got spawned by this, about them er their earnings right here. They were pretty much going bankrupt right here. You can see all of these red arrows. They miss earnings, miss earnings, miss earnings. And they started, he started doing some other things. The, uh, I believe the Model 3 and the Model Y came out here which were cheaper cars. Like I said, they're cheaper, base price 35,000, and to Tesla's notorious for offering deals when they get close to earnings to pad their earnings. Meaning that, like if you they have you on an email list or you came in to look at a Tesla before, they will give you a call and say, hey, you came in here about six months ago to look at a Tesla, and it was 35,000. What if we sell you that car for 32,000, or 30,000, or 29,000, would you buy it today? and we'll give you this, you know, incentives or whatever it is to make it cheaper for you. They're notorious if they're doing it at the end of close to earnings to move like maybe 10,000, 30,000, who knows, 100,000 units. That's what they're notorious for doing right now. So here we go. This is the stimulus that came in, as you can see right here, first stimmy checks went out April 2020 and look what the Tesla stock did. We got other stimmies in between there and this is where we sit right now and we will return to home. I'd say, um, between now and next year, we will be between a range of $80 and $50. We we'll probably maintain that range. So be prepared for that. By the time we get there, it'll seem normal. But for right now, me saying that, it might have seemed a little crazy. Me saying that last year was a lot crazy. And the year before that, a lot crazy. But we were saying it since then. We have a playlist of all our uh, Tesla videos. You can go watch them. We not, we're not somebody that all of a sudden changed overnight. All these guys who was pumping up Tesla, beating on the table, and now they're changing their tune once the company started to go down. We weren't doing that. And don't be surprised, like I said, we range, there's price range for Tesla between now and next year, 80 to $50. But don't be surprised if it gets down into the 20s. I mean, that could happen. We look for that to probably happen between now and mid uh, 2023. If it's gonna do that, it'll be between that time, all right? So that's where we're at on Tesla stock right now. And it's gonna be a lot of, Elon Musk is not gonna be used to it, but he's gonna start getting a lot of hate. He's gonna start, a, a lot of things aren't gonna go for him, but that's what happens once you're at the top. Perfect example, look at Kathy Wood. Right now, she cannot get anything right with the company. Um, and they did a major investor in uh, Tesla stock. That's why I'm bringing her up. Uh, ARK Invest, 
and their stock is down set their ETF is down 78% mainly because Tesla stock and we have a lot more to go a lot lower guys so hey like I said it's going to be a real short video and they are there are ways to still make money from this like we said we have a Patreon group you can join that or you can try to figure it out yourself full disclosure we are still in our Tesla short we're not shorting the stock we're in, in creative ways and options so that's something we teach how to do for right now guys be careful like crypto Thank you.